Every day we have someone come in, especially this time of year, a lot of them are like, wow, 6.2 is your limit, and we're like, yeah. Brian Knatzer has owned Sleepy Owl Brewery in Kingsport for nearly three years, but he hasn't been able to get as creative as he wanted to. The reason? In Tennessee, the cap for alcohol by volume is 6.2%. By January 1st, it will change to 10.1 percent. We've been waiting a long time for this. It started over two years ago to, to push forward to let us do this, and uh, it's it's going to open up a, a lot of avenues for us. Right now, you can go purchase a beer that's been shipped in from a different state with a much higher alcohol content. It lets us be more competitive with beers that are coming into state being poured and, and tax revenue dollars going out of state. Beer isn't the only thing that will be changing. Craft Cider will be able to get crafty. It's just like a chef. If you put handcuffs on somebody about what they can make, you can do some certain things. Like you make a great cider, make a great Italian meal, but if you have the right ingredients and the right things you can make with it, it really expands what you can do. Aaron Carson owns a Gypsy Cider Company and says that being able to make higher alcohol beer is a game changer for the entire state. I think, you know, what's going to happen January 1st, you're going to see a flood of amazing beers that are coming out, right? And ciders, right? Uh, and I think. Instead of having to go get a North Carolina cider or North Carolina beer, you've got them right here, and that's going to be pretty cool.